today we're going to be going over the Visinex RFID Century 2 cable tag. The great thing about the Visinex cable tag is it's a very highly readable tag. Typically read ranges are between 2 feet to 10 feet depending upon the amplification of your antenna in your RFID reader. This company has done an excellent job of producing different sizes of housings for these cable tags. The great thing about these housing is how robust they are. We've had many customers try to take tags and heat shrink them onto cable or even labels and wrapping them around. And the longevity of these tags is atrocious. Usually lasts one or two jobs and then just with the use and abuse that happens with cables on job site, they just don't last. And we've got customers who are a year into using these things and they're still holding their functionality. And so the investment in a quality tag and a quality housing is really important for, for the audiovisual industry. So the housing comes in different parts. There is the housing that comes in different sizes for different diameter cables. There is typically a back plate and a front plate. The front plate can come with either a clear see-through housing or it can be another version of this, just the opposite. For the ones that use the clear housing, what that's meant for is there's a clear insert that will go inside and typically there will be a label printed and adhered to the actual physical tag. So in this example, you can see we've got the flex logo, the inventory model, and the 2D barcode to uh, be able to read this with either a barcode read on the 2D or an RFID read. So if a cable diameter is a little bit smaller than the opening, there's also a solid insert that can go in the back side of the housing to make it so that cable doesn't pull through the housing and keeps it nice and snug. So those are the parts and pieces of the cable housing. As far as cable clamping style, there's two different models or functionalities. This is what we call a compression housing. So there's a male side and a female side that once it's all put together, you compress it together and the diameter of the speaker cable that is slightly larger than the opening compresses outward and it makes this housing so it doesn't come apart. So this is an example of some power cable, 12-3 power cable, that the diameter makes it so once you compress it on, it does not come off. It comes in other sizes. This is the smallest form factor that was added recently and completes the whole size needs of the AV industry. This is a small Cat5 Ethernet cable and with the filler in the back, it allows it to stay intact on the cable and doesn't move around. We've already shown you this. This is the next size up, and these all come in very specific side ranges, but they go even very large up to, this is 4 out electrical feeder cable, and here's another large size for a too large breakout cable for electrical breakouts for lighting. The other thing that's really nice for uh, this setup is there's a center cutout and what people use that center cutout for is for securing their tie line. So if you're going to wrap up your cable in a coil and then you want to tie it so it doesn't come apart in shipping, a tie line is a very common used uh, tool to do that and this secures that in place. So it serves many different purposes. It secures the barcode reader, or the barcode uh, label, the RFID tag, the tie line, and then all your uh, contact information all in one thing. Like I said, these are very robust. They will last longer than anything out there for uh, reading for cable. So if you've got any uh, information requests, let us know. Um, 
we can supply you with the audiovisual specialist is at HID to get you uh, ordering information. And we have these in our RFID proof of concept where we can send a couple different sizes, 10 each, so you can start to test those and see how they work in your system.